going to try to show you how to um, solve this problem. So we want the horizontal and vertical tangent lines to the parametrically defined curve um, x of t is t cubed minus t and y of t is uh, t to the fourth minus 5t squared plus 4. Um, so what I'm going to do is insert a calculator page and first define the function. So x of t is t cubed minus t and y of t is, it's just going to be a little easier to work with these if I do this. So t to the fourth minus 5t squared plus 4. Okay, so um, for there to be a um, horizontal tangent line, the uh, derivative, so dy dt would need to be 0, so let's take that derivative. And then what I want to do is I actually want to solve. So menu 3, 1 is solve input 0 for t. I'm going to get those three values. Um, but also what I need is to make sure that dx dt is not 0. So solve. Because if x of t is also 0, then what I have is an indeterminate form, and i got to do more work. Um, but that's not the case. OK. so. Um, now I know that when t is uh, negative radical 10 over 2, 0, and radical 10 over 2, um, there are horizontal tangent lines. So if you think about a horizontal tangent line, uh, the equation of a horizontal line is just y equals whatever. So all I need to do at this point is do y of t, and then such that. And um, I can actually go up and copy and paste these. Um, so that's one of them. And then, let's see, go up, get that, well, t equals 0 is easy to type, 4, and then go up, and well, I'll go all the way up here. The better thing to do would have been just copy and paste uh, that other one. So I'm actually getting the same tangent line at uh, these values of t, uh, but that's fine. And then for the vertical tangent lines, Actually, I already saw where dx dt was 0. And uh, a vertical line, obviously, is going to be vertical. So um, now what I'll do is uh, just evaluate those at x. So x of t, where I'm at such that. Let's see. There. And then x of t, such that. Such that, by the way, is control equals and then you go left one right there. There. Um, so I found the horizontal and I found the vertical tangent lines. Um, let's see, maybe I have time to do this. I'm going to insert a graph and then change my graph type to menu to parametric. And x1 is that and y. One is going to be y of t. By the way, those are in var if you want to not type them. Var t. Uh, t values aren't really restricted, so I'm going to go negative, whatever, uh, 100 to 100. I don't know what would give me a good looking graph, so we get that. And we see that, and you can kind of get a sense. Uh, down here, my t step is probably a little too big, which is why I'm getting a, a broken up looking graph. So let me, it might not let me make this smaller. Let me change it to 0.2. Now, it looks like with the interval that I chose, uh, the minimum I can get is 1. That's probably way more than I need. So let's do this. And change this to uh, 0.1. There, that smoothed it out. But anyway, um, you can see that there's a horizontal tangent line here, horizontal tangent line here, and a horizontal tangent line up here. And then the vertical tangent lines are actually like right around this point, right around this point. So a lot of symmetry. So uh, I think our answer makes sense. Um, and you get a, a kind of an idea of what to do. And I hope you find this helpful. Good luck.